Uh, First Chronicles five. First Chronicles chapter five and verse one. Mm-hmm. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn. He was the firstborn. Read. But for as much as he defiled his father's bed. How did he defile his father's bed? By sleeping with his father's wife. Not in private, but all Israel knew about that thing. Read. His birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph, Mm -hmm. the son of Israel. The son of Israel. All right. Remember, um, and I'm not going precept upon precept, but y'all should know this history. Remember, um, Jacob loved Joseph out of all of his children. Uh, Joseph was his favorite. So once Reuben did that nonsense, it would be easy. Oh, Joseph, you understand? And from him was Ephraim and Manasseh. So he gave the birthright, took it from Reuben, gave the birthright to Joseph. Read. And the genealogy is not to be reckoned after the birthright. Right. The genealogy, for example, whoever's born first, they're supposed to get the birthright every time, no matter what. So it's not to be changed or reckoned or anything like that. Read. Verse 2. Uh-huh. For Judah prevailed above his brethren. But Judah prevailed above his brethren. How did he do that? Shiloh, that's where we used to meet in Ephraim, right? We used to fellowship in Shiloh. But what happened? Uh, Jeroboam, he turned the northern kingdom of Israel into idolatry. So what happened? It got taken from the northern kingdom, which was Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh, and it was given to Judah because Judah wanted to still keep the commandments. So instead of the meeting place being in Shiloh, where did it get switched to? It got switched to Judah or Jerusalem. Two quick scriptures. Psalm 78. Let's go to Psalm 78 real quick. Psalms chapter 78 and 67 and verse 67. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Joseph and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion, which he loved. Read. And he built his sanctuary like high palaces. Like the earth which he hath established forever. Now, jump up to verse uh, 56. Verse 56. Come on. Yet they tempted and provoked the most high God and kept not his testimonies. Right. That's the northern kingdom. They provoked God by what? Their idols. Read. Verse 56. No, verse 57. But turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow. Come on. For they provoked him to anger with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their graven images. Right. That same golden calf that was in Egypt, they was worshiping that same golden calf under Jeroboam. Read. When God heard this, he was wroth and greatly abhorred Israel. And greatly abhorred Israel. Read. So that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh. That's where Ephraim dwelt. Come on. The tent which he placed among men. Right. Because that's where we used to gather. But read verse 67 again. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Joseph and chose not the tribe of Ephraim. Come on. But chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion, which he loved. So that's how the, um, that's how the birthright was changed. Reuben did his dirt by sleeping with his father's wife in the midst of Israel. And then once it was ta- uh, given to Israel, what happened? They started worshiping idols. And the guy said, nope, I'm going to put my name in Judah, Jerusalem. All right. All right. So we ended right there. We used to scream black power while Haran was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.